Crystal here. Welcome back to Rosewolf. Last time, uh, I think we started our new schedule, which was on Monday. Don't really remember what we did that episode. How are you guys doing this evening? I'm very sorry about the late episode, but I am working full time now, so I don't really have, you know, time during the middle of the day anymore. Oh, uh, um, Crystal, this is a little embarrassing, so I decided to tell you in the letter, okay? Don't freak out, okay? The other day, you had something stuck in your to your head. It was a dandelion. Messenger Bob. Bob? You're supposed to be my bae. You're supposed to tell me. Alright, you may be wondering, Crystal, why are you wearing a wetsuit? And why is all your stuff over here? I was doing the diving trick, and, uh... It wasn't actually going all that well, unfortunately. Um... No one suggested anything. And I was doing it for maybe about the last... Uh... Oh gosh, I don't even know, like 30, 40 minutes, and no one suggested anything. I tried Bob, I tried Marshall, I tried Robin, but alas, nothing. Uh, so we are going to put down Public Works Project today. I don't know which one it'll be yet, and I don't know... Um, well, it definitely won't be one that's new, because we don't have any new ones, but anyways. Hello there, buddy. You eating? Oh gosh, okay, yes, I know I've been on for a while, buddy. <laughs> Talk to me properly. Say, what do you think of my outfit, Crystal? Uh... You're cute. Oh, come on. There we go, okay. Then how about you, Marshall? Well, we have a time capsule to bury for him. Don't let me forget about that. Hey, lucky you! Uh, I'm feeling well snazzastically generous today. Oh, what's this? A black track jacket. Alright. Not exactly my style, but I mean, I am wearing a diving suit right now. Uh, I still haven't picked up my next outfit from Forest, therefore we don't have our summer clothes just yet. Once again, it's either me being lazy or me not having time. Uh, but I do promise I will get that eventually. I'm very much, very... I'm trying to word, trying to English right now. Uh, very, very sorry ahead of time if this episode's a little bit more quiet, a little bit more laid back. I am incredibly tired. <laughs> but uh, I did promise I would film for you guys. We'll sort out this schedule thing. It's the first, it's the early stages, so I don't really know what's going on yet when we're doing stuff, etc. I hope you guys don't mind. Okay, so these guys aren't in their houses. Uh, Sahara's right there, but we're not letting her anywhere near our house. Have it the way I like it, and I don't want you to ruin it for me. Question, I believe Sahara will only do the main room when you enter your house, right? Like that main first room. I don't believe she'll go upstairs or downstairs or anywhere else, correct? Am I wrong in thinking that? See, that's how little I know. I remember Sahara in, like, the older games, not in this one. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple fossils. We also need to check turnip prices. I've been very, very bad about checking them this week in both towns. Uh, I missed the entirety of yesterday and this morning, but, you know. What do you expect? <laughs> um, other than that, though, I really, really need to get some more public works projects here. I feel like there's nothing that I really have like any desire or drive to build. So uh, that's kind of frustrating. Ah, uh, dress. How much stuff do I have on me? Oh, hi, Wolfgang. Uh, oh, no, 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 you're not changing it. You're leaving. You ask me on stream, and I will change it for you, buddy. I promise. Okay, anyway, uh, I saw Robin. Did I see Robin? There you are. Now, what have you been saying to Wolfgang? <laughs> Oh, uh, what's the latest? Can't believe I had to put on sunscreen today. Wait, I wear sunscreen every day. Ignore me. It's so cloudy though. No, you can still get a sunburn even when it's cloudy. And as I found out, you can also get something, and I don't know if this is the official name for it, but it's called a snowburn. If you guys have ever 
Uh, maybe being skiing. That's how it happened to me on like a really sunny day. This, the, the snow kind of reflects the sunlight and I got the strangest burn on like the bottom of my chin. It was really strange. It hurt too. Anyways, <laughs> enough about that. Uh, turn up prices, please be good, please be good. Eh. I mean, if I sold them now, I'd be selling at a profit of like four bells. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully Rosewood is good. If not, hopefully, you know, somebody else's town is good. Because uh, I didn't, you know, buy 6,000 turnips just to hold 6,000 turnips for a week. I actually have them for a reason. <laughs> Game, please. Whoopsie. I love how every single soundtrack, or every single hourly, I guess, musical score in this game changes when it rains. I think that's adorable. It's one of my favorite little features. I don't remember if they did it in Wild World of City Folk. I know for a fact that uh, Rainy Days had their own entirely different song in um, Population Growing. But, uh, but yeah, I like, I like this. I think it's adorable. I like how I can still- wait. Oh, I thought I saw something pink here. Uh, I like how I can still tell the time using the music, not without having to really check. Um, maybe we'll actually get to see, uh, not Butch, not Butch, Mac today, because we didn't get to see him last time, which is awkward because he's our newest villager. Uh, I did actually end up seeing him a bit later on. Right, well, he's not in. He's going to be that villager who's like never around, isn't he? <laughs> oh, there's another thing. Is this another gyroid? It is. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm telling you right now, I cannot wait until the weekend. I don't think I've ever looked forward to the weekend this much before. I am so, so shattered and so tired. But, uh, I'm looking forward to streaming again. I'm looking forward to kind of, you know, not having to get up at five, six in the morning <laughs> and get ready for work. And, uh, I'm ready to spend my time how I want to spend my time. If only for, you know, two days. <laughs> uh, Melba isn't there. Ooh, ooh. We need that. You see that thing on the bush right there? That is a snail. And I don't believe we've caught one with this character, so... Oh, maybe I did catch one. We'll have to uh, check it at the museum. I didn't think I had, but maybe, maybe I did? Question mark? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, anything back here? No. Oh, well there's another snail. Okay, anything here? I don't see anything so far. I feel like I've missed a fossil. Joy. <laughs> uh, no? Nothing? Man? I only have three. I swear, this game. Ugh, you know what? I'm probably gonna find it later on when I'm running around just like you know talking to villagers doing what I do and then I'm gonna have to run all the way back up to the museum get it identified then run all the way to retail just to sell it and it's frustrating <laughs> I feel like we didn't see many of our villagers today we didn't see Gaston we didn't see uh, Melba we didn't see O'Hare. Uh, Pajmina. Yeah, like, I feel like we missed out on a bunch of our villagers, but I know that we didn't, like, you know, walk by them. Uh, assess a fossil, please. Part of me wants to just trust that when I found a snail on this character, I immediately donate it, but the other part of me doesn't trust past me at all. So I'm gonna triple check, even if this is gonna be like, you know, more dialogue to mash through. <laughs> uh, oops. No, wait, that is what I want. 
Okay, good. <laughs> good, good. Okay. I'm not entirely sure if I want to uh, update my dream address right now. It is raining, and that is kind of cool, but uh, I don't know if people really like it. Also, shops are closed. We can't really do much shopping this evening. It's kind of kind of sucks. <laughs> it's okay though. We'll have lots of time to decide on a public works project, decide where it wants to go. I am still kind of set, to be honest with you, on that bus stop, but I don't think that's gonna fly where I want it to, so I don't know. My other idea, and this might come back to bite me, was like right here. Um, I don't know if it would work. I don't know if I'm gonna, like, you know, want to do anything with this space up here eventually. But, uh, that is my current idea. We'll take a bit of a look around town, see if there's maybe another spot that would work. But I am kind of set on the bus stop being our next public works project. I never actually built it in, I think, any of my previous towns. So it will be something new for me. Um... Uh, I want to sell first off. Uh, I think all of these. Yes. Good. Sounds good. Okay. You know what? I find it still incredibly ironic and maybe this is just the theme. But we switch over to like, you know, the summer thumbnail, the summer background, and both of- well, actually the first episode and the second episode afterwards have been grey and rainy and wet. <laughs> it's not very summer-like at all. Uh, but that's okay. What I'm really looking forward to, and that's actually gonna be really awesome since, you know, I'm gonna be filming these later at night, but is going to be the, uh, the firework festivals that happen in the summer. I can't remember exactly when they start. It's either seven or eight, I think. Maybe. But uh, I love the music from them. I love the music from them. It's the music that's actually um, used in the intro and I believe outro, I can't remember, uh, to visiting your dream towns. I've been using it for years. I love it. Uh, public works projects, please. Let's start a new project. I want to put the bus stop. Yes, this one. Okay, so Isabel, I know, I know you. You have an issue with where I want to put it initially, so we'll find a better spot. But I just want you to know I'm still kind of pissed. Okay, so. This is spot number one, and I think the bus stop is three wide. So it could fit right in here. I think that's actually... Okay, let's hope it's too wide, because I think if it's too wide, being where this tree is, and whoopsie. No, Isabel, stop it. No, no. Bad dog. Go. Uh, here and uh, here, these two spaces, it would be, I think, this one, two, three, and then one, two, three on this side, it would be even, right? So hopefully it's a two by two, or at least a two wide project. Um, okay, other spaces that I might want it though. Probably not on the lower half of town, other than, you know, where I was just pointing out. Um, this rock, I have too many bad rocks in this town. Let's just be really honest here. I have a lot of really bad placed rocks. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, and then I know I want it across a path, if possible. If I'm gonna have it, you know, anywhere near a path. Um, I wonder if she would throw a fuss about it being here. I wonder if this is too close to cliffs and stuff. I mean, Freckles was allowed to move right here, so I don't see why not, but... What do you think? Like a bus to the beach. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. Okay. Oh wait, did she just say three spaces? Okay, hopefully it's not actually three spaces. 
Because if so, that ruins my other plan. What do you think? Isabel, please, we are nowhere near the cliff now. Fine, I will move over here. What do you think? Okay, now don't you dare put it over my path. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Isabel. Just one over and one down would actually work out quite well, looking at that. That's actually four wide. Isn't it? I forgot about the stuff on the outside of it. So I don't think she'll let us put it here. I can try it, but I don't think she's gonna let us do it. Oh, let's see. No, Isabel. <laughs> Isabel, you're so close. Come on, we can do this. Let's work together. Just, just a little, just a little, little bit. There you go. Please? Oh? Isabel, gosh darn it. Uh, oh, I don't think she's gonna let me do it. I don't think she's gonna actually... Please? I'm just gonna keep inching forward and hope for the best here. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh, I kind of like that. And then there's like that little route right there, right up to the lighthouse. Kind of digging that spot, not gonna lie. I think it's cute too. Especially since I don't want any houses anywhere in that little area. Oh. It knocks out some trees though, I think. I can't remember. I think it does though. Um. I like that spot. I'm not gonna lie, I like that spot. I think it's cute. Um, and then eventually I would like to incorporate dirt paths into town and I would have a dirt path running uh, from the right side of it up to the lighthouse because I think that's going to be adorable. Uh, so yeah. I like it. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's so uneven. So I'm going to have to get that pit off as soon as possible because that unevenness actually kind of bothers me to be honest. Uh, <laughs> Alright, you. I'm gonna put down, I think it's 36,000 to make the number an even uh, 100,000. Okay, and then uh, I'm probably gonna use the rest of the money actually to put down towards our home loan. That's not bad though. That's not bad. And then we'll just have a really cute little thing up. I think it works. I like it. Hopefully hopefully you guys agree. <laughs> I think it'll be cute. Oh gosh, I feel so bad for the snails when I do that. <laughs> Sahara, quit creeping on poor Robin's house. You're acting like the new Wendell. Seriously. Man, we have enough issues with Wendell when we go to sleep. We don't need one IRL. Oh, hi. Uh, I mean, you know, sure, but you said that to me about 15 minutes ago, buddy. Oh gosh, another shirt? Oh, I guess maybe he saw us sell the first one, he decided to do it again. I came over here to talk to Melba, actually. Hello there. Uh, let's talk. It's hard to tell how much of the gossip you hear is true, isn't it? Uh, before you go repeating a rumor, it's best to look into it yourself. I agree. Oh, look at his little tail! <laughs> oh, you're so cute! Okay, sorry. <laughs> Getting distracted. Oh, maybe we should check on our pansies as well. Anyway, uh, no, first off I want to go, uh, put a little bit of this money, bills, whatever we have on us down towards, uh, or towards our uh, our payment on our uh, our loan for our basement, aka our recording room. You know what? Because Marshall said that twice, 
And because I'm feeling horribly uncreative tonight, I think I'm gonna name this episode like Snaztastically Generous or something like that. That'll be funny. Okay, oh, uh, I didn't talk to Tom Nook yet. And Nook's is closed. The shame. <laughs> The absolute shame. I've been such a bad mayor and such a bad person. Not paying back the poor old raccoon who renovated my house for me. Also, you guys, I've run into a really funny dilemma. So, uh, this Animal Crossing game that I'm playing right now is a digital copy. Which means that it is obviously it's on my SD card. It is in the 3DS and I'd rather not take it out. I don't think I can switch SD cards, I don't know. Never really done it, not really keen on doing it to be honest. Um, actually, you know, I know that it can be done, so never mind. But uh, regardless, not really all that tempted to do it. But uh, I want to go out and get street passes on this 3DS that I can show you guys like the happy home showcase and everything. Especially for those who like live in areas where you don't get street passes that often, because it's cool seeing other people's houses and stuff. And buying, you know, furniture. Um, but my issue is, it's literally, the game is literally tied to the 3DS that has the capture card on it. And I don't really want to go outside. Did I not water these? Uh, I don't really want to go outside um, with the capture card, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't think watering these is going to do very much, honestly. But I'm going to do it just out of, like, habit, I guess. Oh, I think I- oh no wait, never mind. I did good. I thought I missed some flowers. <laughs> yeah. This is the only thing about rainy days is that like random other species of flowers will just spawn in. And I'm just like, no, <laughs> I want, you know, blue roses or, or whatever. Obviously not roses in this town, you guys know what I'm talking about though. It's kind of disappointing, though, that I, uh, forgot to talk to Tom Nook. <laughs> oh, I'm such a bad person. One episode, or maybe even one stream, I'm gonna have to, well, one, chop down this, two, chop down this, but more importantly, start, like, running up and down here vigorously to create the dirt path. Uh, that will probably take a long time, but... You know, I'm pretty sure we could get some done. Maybe. I'm kind of bummed that we didn't get to see Butch, though. Not Butch, Mac. I, you know what? I'm gonna keep calling him Butch until, like, we actually get to see more of him. Because I, I'm not putting the face to the name, if you know what I mean. So, in the meantime, why don't we go look for Mac? Because <laughs> we haven't really spoken to him yet on the Let's Play, and he's... You know, he's our newest guy. Slash, I don't know really what else to do because everything is closed. <laughs> so I'm going to assume he's in here. Mainly because all of the other uh, places are closed. I don't think villagers will go in there if it's closed. Uh, I always like checking the fish first. Don't ask why, I have no clue. Question of the day, by the way. Do you enjoy eating fish? Is fish something you partake in? Because I personally am actually allergic. I don't really like seafood in general anyway from what I've had of it. You know, minus an allergy to it. Uh, so I don't eat fishies, but I like looking at them. They're pretty. But yeah, that's gonna be my question of the day because Crystal's really tired and not really thinking all that clearly. Uh... No one? Gosh darn it, Mac. I'm gonna call you Butch on purpose if you keep doing this, I swear. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a Butch villager and I'm like horribly confusing them though. And then even worse, if I see Mac in a dream town, I might just end up calling him Butch even though I know the villager. <laughs> ah, what is my life? Uh, oh, hey buddy! I forgot about you earlier! I didn't say that we had to- wait, did I say? I can't remember now. Anyway! Dude, you thought I was an insect? 
This, this, this place is here. buzzing all year round. That's no off. joke. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> My grumpy bunny. I love him so much. <laughs> Okay, no one in here. Uh, nope. There's Gaston again. Seriously? Maybe he's a fossil guy. Maybe he likes fossils. Or maybe we'll find him in with the arts. We gotta check the arts first. <laughs> oh gosh, it's so strange coming in here. I'm not used to it. We have not done very much. <laughs> Speaking of though, you guys, I, I, oh there he is. Uh, I can't remember who it was. I don't know if it was one of the mods or if it was a viewer. But somebody, when they came over to my town, left a whole bunch of presents. Or maybe I went over to their town and they gave me a whole bunch of presents? I'm not sure. Some of which included uh, statues and paintings, right? So stuff that goes in this exhibit. I have just kind of kept it in storage because I didn't really know what to do with it. Because part of me is like, oh, hey, you know, we'll just go donate it. And if it's fake, you know, who cares? I'll just sell it. Or like put it in my house, I'm not really sure. The other part of me is like, hey, don't do that, cause like, I don't know, it's it, it's kinda, it's not cheating. It's, it's just, it's getting ahead in ways that I wouldn't have otherwise been able to do. So I don't know, how do you, how do you guys feel about that? Cause I'm, I honestly have not really checked. I don't know if they're real or fake. I have no clue. I have barely touched them, but they're in my storage. Uh, anyways, Mac, what are you doing, buddy? Hey, yeah. I mean, sorry, I guess I got a little carried away. What you need? What's the latest, dude? Would rather be an art model instead of drawing something. I'd love to have my sculpture odd captured for pos- Oh, that face. That gorgeous, gorgeous face. I like him. He's kinda weird. But that's why I like him. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. Anyways, you guys, I think now that we've found Mac, not Butch, Mac, we're gonna end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry I didn't really get to do a whole lot, mainly because it's really late. And, uh, my... Butch, well, you know what? Screw it. We, we got the bus stop done. Ish. I just have to pay it off. But, like, that's pretty good. I like the placement. I hope you guys like it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will... See you guys next time. But before I go, can we just please all appreciate the fact that Butch was just staring at us the entire time I was doing my exit? <laughs> <laughs>